Well, it's time now for our daily question feature. It's called Need to Know. This is where you get to ask us anything about money matters. We go to our team of experts and we get an answer for you. This evening's question came via email from Swongi and She wants to know what a social enterprise is. ENCA resident economist Trudy Makaya answered her question. A social enterprise is an organization that tries to solve a social problem, but it does so using market principles and also practices that are more common in the business sector. So for instance, a company like Stitchwise um, employs disabled people and gives them an opportunity to make a livelihood, but it ensures that it sells those products and services that are produced to the mining sector at a profit. Awetu is another example of an enterprise that develops businesses, takes an equity stake in those businesses, but runs with both a profit incubation model and a non-profit model to support um, businesses that don't necessarily fall into the profitable segment. A social enterprise is not exactly a business because even though it relies on business principles, its social mission is at the heart of what it's doing. Um, the profit motivation is secondary to that or complementary to that. It's also not a traditional charity because it generates its own revenues to a sufficient degree and it also um, generates profits in certain instances. Time now for a look at the markets. We start in the United States where stocks were in retreat mode, pulled down by energy producers after the oil price dipped below the $80 per barrel mark. In Europe, markets fell as investors took the profits they made after the ECB's review of the region's banks. Meanwhile, an index of German business sentiment dropped to its lowest level in almost two years. Here at home, the JSE backing the trend. We ended the day in positive territory, led by industrial shares. And traders are saying that investors were picking shares that had been oversold over the past few sessions. Mining and resources shares, however, came off today, particularly iron ore stocks like Exaro and Kumba. Commodity prices softer today after the drop in the oil price, but further losses on the gold price were curtailed by a recovery in physical demand for the metal, as well as expectations that it will take a while yet for the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates. On the currency front, the rand had a slightly weaker turn today ahead of a data-heavy week. Traders expect the rand to take its cue from the Fed decision on Wednesday, as well as local economic data releases like credit extension, PPI and trade data, which is due out later in the week. And that's it for today's edition of ENCA Moneyline. Do remember, you can send us your comments or questions via email on moneyline at enca.com. Tweet us using the handle at ENCA News, hashtagging ENCA Moneyline. 